Well, uh, in the early history of Zionism, they were uh, given a number of such offers, and they rejected them. Um, they reject, rejected them in part for, uh, for the uh, reasons that you would certainly invoke uh, of, of irrational religious belief about um, their right to, to that piece of land. Uh, that would be uh, uh, certainly part of it. And another part of it would be uh, objective uh, historical attachment to that piece of land. Uh, and uh, and the, the huge divide in Israel today between the, the religious and the, and the secular, who uh, some of uh, my friends there are, are even angrier about religion than, than uh, Richard and Sam. Um, is it, it, sort of along these lines. There are people who, who are committed to the place because of, of religious faith and people who are committed to it because of uh, historical attachment. Jim, you... Yeah, can I just... Uh, Richard, just... since you're being invoked, do you want to join this? I think it's reasonable. Um, Jim, uh, please go ahead. If I could just quickly... Uh, respond to a couple of things you said, Sam. Um, first of all, I, in, in saying that, for example, the, the civil rights movement in the United States had a religious inspiration, I was not at all suggesting that we could establish that simply by taking the word of the people who were uh, involved in it for what their motivations are. You know, there, there are detailed historical studies of the origins of the civil rights movement that support this analysis. And that's just the sort of thing that I'm recommending. And I find it... And the uh, ability to persuade whites. Yeah, yeah. The, and I find it just absolutely remarkable that merely pointing out what I take to be the empirical fact that um, sometimes... Uh, uh, religiously motivated people have done good things makes me an apologist for uh, religious extremism as though or, or, or merely saying that that we need a better empirical understanding of why people are drawn to uh, religious doctrines and um, you know sort of what the psychological mechanisms are etc um, makes me um, uh, a fan of uh, of uh, an apologist for uh, bin Laden. I mean, well, I, I really find that extremely offensive. Okay, well, in 20 seconds, let me tell you why I, I, uh, I've described the problem that way. Because we have evidence, abundant evidence, uh, of all the variables that you cited, like po you, you, you advocated that we understand this politically and economically and, and uh, invoking these other variables, which to you as a scientist seem far more likely to be underwriting people's behavior. We have, uh, in case after case, situations where those variables have been stripped away. I mean, we have the 19 hijackers, for instance, on September 11th. Who were these 19 guys? These were guys who were middle class or better. They were all college educated. Many of them had PhDs. They were architects and engineers. Um, the, you know, Ayman al Zawahiri is a is a is a uh, a physician whose Fifty known family members are the, the cream of the crop of Egyptian society, judges and, 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 and physicians and pharmacists, as far as the eye can see. The, the variables that you are invoking rather reflexively uh, as an explanation for this kind of behavior are not operative, and these people are telling us over and over again, uh, just ad nauseum, why they were doing what they were doing, what they believe, and if you just look at what they say they believe, you'll see that their behavior is quite rational within the contents of, the, of that belief system. And so we are, I mean, the desperation you hear from me and the frustration is that we are wasting time. I mean, this, this conference is purposed toward convincing someone like you that we even have a problem with religion. Uh, and that, I find that just an, a, a phantasmagorically strange situation to be in. Um, and that's, you know... You know, I'm sorry to be so strident, but but it. Uh, I think this really matters. You know, I mean, w which one of us wins this argument? I think really. I think the consequences of that really matters. Jim, do you want to respond to that? Uh, no, no. Why don't we go on? I. Uh, well, well, right, let me get you a microphone. 
Beatrice Galam. I'm in the Department of Medicine at UC San Diego. And recognizing that all analogies are false analogies, I'd like to follow up on the alcohol analogy. The statement was made that alcohol has good properties and bad properties, and on balance, the bad properties went out. In fact, I think what we think now is that alcohol has good properties with certain patterns of use and is bad with other patterns of use and in other people. And we're currently directing our efforts to extinguishing or at least mitigating the bad uses that have inimical outcomes. One thing we've discovered is that these bad uses are increased by certain reward systems. In this case, um, inherited alterations in the dopamine system that lead to increases in reward for excessive alcohol consumption in certain people. And one thing that we direct our efforts to doing is counterbalancing those rewards by things like antabuse that make the punishments exceed the rewards for those bad uses in those individuals who use them badly. I would make the claim that beyond religious factors, which I absolutely believe are a major part of the problem, as Sam Harris points out, there probably are also social factors that add to the rewards of those bad behaviors. And I would claim that one of those social factors is that we in the West have repeatedly incentivized terrorism. We've incentivized it by interceding on the side of the terrorists in Palestine, in Kosovo, as it was pointed out when they did the cartoons and demanded that we not say bad things about Muhammad, a lot of people caved. And any behaviorist will tell you that when you reward a behavior that is in the rational interest of a group based on its beliefs, people will increase those behaviors. Perhaps one approach is to seek to find ways to de-incentivize rather than reward those behaviors by when those behaviors engage in taking things back, doing the opposite of what it is that that group seeks to gain by engaging in those behaviors. I think Mel, you may be no, sure I, I, you want to talk about. I, I certainly have no problem associating myself with what you just said. Uh, I, I don't want to repeat it. I, I think that um, the reason that you were able to say it is that an empirical approach was taken to the, the harm done by alcohol, the good done by alcohol the behavioral and, and uh, neurobiological mediators of, of both and, uh, and re result uh, um, a treatment plan uh, for the alcohol problem, if you want to call it that. But, you know, I, I really don't, if you want to call it that, but, you know, I, I really don't want to just let this be a uh, a discussion about good effects of alcohol versus bad effects of alcohol. I want to keep in mind, most importantly, because this is, this is the most relevant part of the analogy to what Richard and, uh, and Sam are proposing, keep in mind the cost of prohibiting alcohol, the cost of trying to eliminate the alcohol use. Richard and, and, Who's and Sam are very much like, religion? like the, the temperance movement. Uh, they no, want no, no, to get no. rid a of something that's bad. It's absolutely. You know, so, so can, we, can, can we do two, there's two points that I'm actually interested in that, that, that you both mentioned. One is the one that you're just about to go to, which is, are you advocating the abolition of religion? Let me finish. And the second one is to, I suppose, this, this team over here, which seems to have shaped up, which is, um, <laughs> When Sam mentioned uh, Nuremberg and, and you know, the, the huge rallies and so on, I mean, duh, doesn't that look like some kind of a signal? Why were people slow to react? And is, are we in the same situation now? Are we, I mean, what kind of a signal do we need to be convinced that this is uh, as historic and pressing a moment as Sam would, and, and Richard would argue? Uh, the the uh, the moment is pressing. Uh, I you know I have to say I grew up in the in the 50s um, when the Soviet Union and the United States had pointed at each other uh, on the hair trigger uh, uh, the power to to pretty much destroy uh, human life on Earth if we believe Carl Sagan's analysis at least and. Uh, and I'm worried right now, but I'm not as worried as I was when I was 10. We used to have a joke when I was 10 uh, uh, in Brooklyn. Um, when you hear the air raid siren, um, crawl under the desk, crouch down, put your head between your legs, and kiss your ass goodbye. And that was what even the 10-year-olds in my neighborhood knew would, ha would w the, 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 you know, the response to the air raid would, would, ha would end up 
be. So the 20, the, the, let, let, let me say that, that um, uh, the, the specious analysis of, the, of Stalinism and, and, uh, and Nazism that we've heard um, uh, does not go to the heart of, of, of the issue. Uh, as a scientific question, and I'm a social and behavioral scientist, the scientific question is what makes these terrible things happen? And their answer is religion. And we have repeatedly cited Pol Pot uh, to the anti-Semitism is anti-Semitism, sure. What about anti-Tutuism? Uh, what about the Tutsiism? What about the, the, the destruction of 800,000 lives in a month or two in, uh, in um, Rwanda? What about uh, uh, the, uh, the killing of communists in Indonesia uh, uh, on a mass scale. These are not motivated by religion. They are expressions of, of, of enduring flaws in human nature which need to be addressed by science. And sometimes religion encourages them. I fully accept that. Sometimes they're even expressions of religious indoctrination. I fully accept that. But this is a a, a much broader phenomenon, and a scientific approach requires that you look at the at the available cases and and gather the information you have and you will find that you cannot use uh, religion as an explanation for many of those cases. You, you can use it for some of them. 